Hello, hello. I am Christina, and this is my daughter Vivian. And today we're going to read a book called The Little Red Caboose. I sing a song. I have. Um, I am a ballerina. Yeah, you're dressed up today. I like to sing a song called The Little Red Caboose with the Toddler 2 group when we're walking in line. It goes like this. Little red caboose, little red caboose, little red caboose behind the train. Smokestack on his back, going down the track. Little red caboose behind the train. Choo choo, choo choo. All right. I think we're ready to start this book now. It's called The Little Red Caboose. It's a little golden book, too. It's been loved uh, through the family. <laughs> this is given to us by our, um, well, Vivian's cousin. The Little Red Caboose always came last. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be okay? <laughs> like a funny face. You made a funny face? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to sit over here so I can look at the pages better. First came the big black engine, puffing and chuffing. Then came the box cars. Uh. Then the oil cars, then the coal cars. <coughs> then the flat cars. Sometimes they were switched around in different ways, but the little red caboose always came last. If you want to do my hair, you can sit behind me. Yeah, you can sit be stand behind me. That way I can move over here a little bit better and they can see the story. Boys and girls waved at the big black engine. They listened to the box cars and the oil cars and the coal cars and the flat cars go clickety-clack. By the time the little red caboose came along, the boys and girls were turning away because the little red caboose always came last. Oh, smoke, said the little red caboose. I wish I were a flat car or a coal car or oil car or a box car so boys and girls would wave at me. How I wish I were a big black engine puffing and chuffing way up at the front of the train. But I'm just a little red, old red caboose. Nobody cares for me. I have to show the pictures now. <laughs> One day, the train started up the mountain. Up went the big black engine. Up went the box cars. Up went the oil cars. Up went the coal cars. Up went the flat cars. Up went the little red caboose. <laughs> Hang on tight, little caboose, called the flat car. This is a long, tall mountain, and you are the last car on the train. Don't I know it, sighed the little red caboose. Poor me. The train went slower and slower and slower. Soon it was hardly moving. It looked as if the train could not get up the mountain. Look out, little caboose, called the flat car. The train is starting to slip back down at this tall mountain. Not if I can help it, said the little red caboose. And he slammed on his brakes and he held tight to the tracks and he kept that train from sliding down the mountain.
Then, boom, the little red caboose felt something push him from behind. It was two big black engines. They pushed the train up the top of the mountain. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mom. Oh, no, Mom. We'll see what happens next. We couldn't have done it, said the big black engine, if it had not been for the little red caboose. Everyone cheered, hooray, and the little red caboose nearly burst with pride. Now children wave at the big black engine and all the cars. But they saved their biggest waves for the little red caboose because the little red caboose saved the train. The end. I hope you have a wonderful day today and we'll see you again tomorrow. Choo choo!